Hello everybody, welcome to my video on Bertrand competition. Bertrand competition is when oligopolistic firms compete by choosing prices. I'm going to focus on the duopoly case, so there's only two firms. So whatever the market Q is, it's equal to Q1 plus Q2, just two firms. Uh, we're going to have a market demand, inverse demand curve of P equals 60 minus 2Q. And to start out, we're going to make sure that these firms are symmetrical. Marginal cost for one firm is 10. Marginal cost for the second firm is 10. That's a zero, not a six. 10. There we go. Uh, so what's going to happen? Uh, Bertrand competition we address a little differently than Cornell. We're not... Uh, we need a little bit more intuition. We don't choose by our usual marginal revenue equals marginal cost thing. That's not where we start. Uh, we are instead of competing by price, and we assume that both firms have the capacity to fill the whole market. And if their only competition is by price, then they get into a price war. And it's gonna hinge on these ideas. If the price for that firm one offers is less than the price that firm two offers, then firm one is going to take the whole market and firm two will make nothing. If the price for firm one is greater than the price for two, firm two, then firm one will get pushed out of the market and firm two will take the market. If they sell their goods at the same price, then Q1 equals Q2 equals big Q over 2. Alright, so if they have symmetric costs, which we do, this is really easy. We're just going to, uh, we're going, let me shortcut a little bit. We're going to choose our price equal to marginal cost. Now why is that? Well, if firm 2 tries to sell their product for $12, which is $2 above marginal cost, firm one can sell it for $11.99 and take the market. Uh, firm two, not wanting to lose the market, could then sell it for $11.98. And so their prices are gonna undercut each other until they get to where it's not worth it to them to go any farther down. Price is marginal cost. So, if they're symmetric, it's really easy to do this. Let's see, price is 60 minus 2Q. Set that equal to the marginal cost of 10. Let's see, that's 50 equals 2Q. That's Q equals 25. And these firms, because their prices are equal, are going to split the quantity. So that Q1 equals Q2 equals 25 over 2 is 12.5. And then our market price, price equals 60 minus 2 times Q, which is 25, is 10. Great. So if we do this, let's calculate each firm's profit. Remember, profit is equal to quantity times price minus average total cost. Well, that's 12.5 times 10 minus 10 equals 0. Okay, there's our result. Uh, in Bertrand competition, if you ever have a constant marginal cost and no fixed costs, you're going to get zero profit for both firms and that's how they break and that's their breaking even competitive output. So that's really simple. I mean this stuff here was all just intuition underlying it but actually solving it was just this stuff. Done. So what if they have different marginal costs though? What if our price curve P equals 60 minus 2Q was uh, competed for by two firms where marginal cost for firm one was 10, but marginal cost for firm two was higher, like a 20. 
Well, we still need to look at these ideas because that's still true for our market. Uh, actually, let me bring those down real quick. Okay. Uh, so the lowest that firm two can possibly charge is 20 bucks. And so that's what firm two would offer if firm one was also 20. Uh, and if both firms charged their marginal cost, you might think uh, firm one charges a price of 10 and firm two charges a price of 20. That's not gonna happen. Uh, if they did that, firm one would take the whole market and firm two would take nothing, which is fine, but firm one's profit would be zero. Oops. They don't need to do that right now because firm one can take the whole market if firm one charges a price just barely under $20. To take the market, all firm one has to do is set a price equal to $19.99 and maybe even a whole bunch more nines. But let's just do it by one penny, just for fun. If firm one charges $19.99, that is less than firm two's marginal cost. Firm two is out of the market. Firm one will take the whole market for itself. Uh, if he charges any higher price, firm two enters and takes half the market. And so firm one will do this price. And let's see, at that price, price equals 60 minus 2q. That's 40.01 equals 2q. Q then equals 20.005. Firm 1 will make 20 units of the good and sell it for uh, $19.99. Oops, too many O's. So quantity times price minus average total cost, which is 10, equals $199.85. And of course, firm two is gonna get a profit of zero. So what happens? If we're competing by prices, then the firm with lower costs can price the second firm completely out of the market. They have to keep their costs, they have to keep the price uh, down enough that the second firm doesn't produce again, so we have we have to charge a price lower than the other firm's marginal cost. But as long as we do, we can take the market for ourselves and claim some positive profits. Uh, it was short, it was easy, but I figured it might be useful to you. If they have the same marginal cost, it's really easy. And if they have different marginal costs, it's still pretty straightforward. Uh, hope it was useful. If not, too bad, but at least it was short. Thanks for watching.